Yo, what is up everyone? So today I'm going to show you the easiest way to make your page scroll to the top whenever you change the page or essentially the route in React with React Router. So right now I have an example website in front of me and I made a full tutorial showing how I created this in React and designed it and everything. So if you want to check that out, I'll put a link in the bio. But essentially right now if I scroll like around to the bottom of this page and then I go to the next tab services you can see that it doesn't scroll to the top automatically so i have to do it manually and then same for this page here and back again you can see that it doesn't go all the way to the top and same for the home page pretty much you can see that so essentially if i go here to my code and then just uncomment this line right here hit save and then go back and now if i were to go to services now you can see this is the top of the page and then same thing with products this is the top here sign up and then also back at home you can see that even if i scroll way to the bottom go back to services scroll back home back at the top service back at the top so pretty self-explanatory you can see that and i left this out in the previous tutorial just so i could make a particular or a specific video just for this but it's so simple and so easy to do this and i got this code exactly line by line from the actual docs so this isn't something i just saw online this is legit from the actual react writer docs so let me just show you how basic and easy this is. So if you haven't already, go ahead anywhere in your project, whether you have a components folder or you just have it on like the standard same uh, file as app.js side. But basically all you need to do is right click and go, let me go ahead and just delete this really quick so I can um, do it with you. But just go to, I'm gonna go to my components folder so where I did it and then I'm just gonna go and create a new file. And then I'm just gonna call this scroll to top.js now in here i could sit here and type this out line by line but literally i did the exact same thing i went to the docs and let me just show you in case you want to read more about it so go to reactrouter.com and then you can see all this on the left go down to scroll or uh, scroll restoration and then they have this entire thing with scroll to top and then if you're using functional components you can literally go to this first section and just copy this code here so let me just copy this and then if you don't want to go to the docs, you just want to read what I put, then feel free. So all we did is import use effects. And then we have use location. And if you want to learn more about that use location particularly, here they have another tab under the hooks with use location that talks more about that. So you can definitely read it from the actual docs itself. But then all you need to do now is just see here it says window for these effect is to scroll back to the essentially the top. And then just passing in path name and the array. And then I'm just going to go in command S to save this. And then all it says, let me go back to the scroll. Where is it at? Scroll restoration here. And then all it says here is pretty much if I go down, you're going to render just at the top of your app right here. So that's essentially what I did. So I just went back to app.js and this is the way I did it and it worked for me. And I have it up to the top right there. And then a little shortcut key in case you're not sure uh, if you do um, control space it loads it up and like if I were to cancel this out right so I have it automatically imported already but if I do control space press enter boom it imports it automatically I save it go to my site and you can see that everything's working fine so that was so easy super simple so if you did enjoy this video then definitely go down below and give this video a thumbs up share this with your friend it might help them if they need it and then also comment down below what you think and if you do want again check out this fully responsive website design and react the link is in the bio you can check it out but aside from that i will see you in the next video peace